Uh, here, I got a souvenir from the Robco factory. Ooh, let me see it. Wow. Look at this. It's a scaled motto of the Protector Bot. These never went into circulation, either. So intriguing. I thank you for this, friend. And I'm short on gifts, but I can give you these. They are an experimental ammo that I crafted in my free time. Hmm. But because alien power cell ammo is kind of limited in this game, you can use these for that purpose. I hope you have an alien blaster to go with them. I do eh, not. Eh, 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 eh. And I got your paperweight. This is what you wanted, right? Yes. Now we can begin. Hold on. I'm going to take these items you have brought, and I will transform them into a weapon of ultimate destruction! My god. Uh, just give me a second. I just gotta build this off screen. <laughs> just pretend that my hands are on a whirlwind of movement right now. I'm doing some inventing. <laughs> And there! I have just invented the Killatron! It's a model based off the pre-war Mesmatron. But with more killing power! <laughs> you have done well, Henchman. As a reward, I will give you the Killatron! Nice. After all, you did assemble the pieces. I just wanted to build it. Hmm. Go, my minion! Kill in the name of science! I will be here, swimming through a vast sea of scientific mystery! You okay? Yeah, you're okay. Killatron, a madman's errand. Uh, so what's next for you, Doc? What you got going? Well, right now I'm looking forward to one big project sometime in the future. And there's kind of a story behind how I came up with this new plan. You see, I managed to track down and find Big Mountain! Ah! ah! I did it! And... I searched its ruins for scientific masterpieces. And what did I find? What'd you find? It's... Not much. The Big Empty was kind of disappointing. Those pre-war documents kind of over-exaggerate its accomplishments a little bit. So I decided, why don't I create my own Big Empty? That's right! And I'd fill it with my own inventions! <laughs> that ought to show them. That would, actually. Though it won't be in the Mojave. I got a spot picked <gasps> out near Boston for that kind of thing. Trust me, it'll be worth the wait when it's done. Oh, nice. This gun doesn't seem to have the paperweight I gave you in it. Why did you need it? <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? I was busy laughing. The paperweight. Damn it. Yes. Leave me to my work. Fine. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Back to... Oh wait, Dwight's got a gift for us. <gasps> In the hunker bunker, too. We get two things done for the price of one. Hunker bunker's got some fun. Uh, is he in here already? Hey, did you get in there already, man? The hell, dude? How the hell did he get in here? Dino Jackson. Oh! 
Secret Todd Howard rap mixtape. Dwight's gift. Is it gonna blow up in my face? Dempsey. Some books. Broken radio. Friendly Eddie. Mr. Barky Van Schnauzer. Well, looks like I have uh, new weapons. My dream came true. Dempsey. Oh, I can't take my Bible. You've done your country proud. Damn right I have. Thanks a lot, kid. You've done a good thing for the NCR, the Mojave, and everything you know and love. This is just a little gift off the record. Don't bring it up with anybody in the NCR. This gift doesn't exist according to NCR records. This mission never happened, so nobody else is going to know about it. But I'm sure that you won't mind as long as you get a little something for your troubles. You're probably wondering how I managed to get a gift in here after you spent so much try time trying, trying to find the master key to break into the safe room. The truth is, I'm just that good. I went through a vent, and that's all you need to know about it. Remember, remember I'm always watching, so be a good little doggy, will you? Your good friend, Dwight. Oh, Dwight. You always surprise me. Killatron. Oh, the Killatron, right. The Killatron and Barky. The best adventure. The Transceiver, Dino Jackson, action movie star. Oh, man. Are these just... Hmm. I thought we were going to get to read them. Guess not. I gave the red suit back. Oh, wait, that's right. He was just like... It didn't move forward. So I either have to kill him or not kill him. I got it. All right, cool. Guess what? Welcome back to the DJ Community Hour. If you're just now tuning in, I was about to have an interview with none other than Courier Six. Go ahead, bud. Yeah, I like to hit children. All right, uh, here's a transceiver. You're a good man, Courier Six. Poor woman. Hi. My scripting's not advanced enough to pick up on stuff like that. Anyway, thanks a ton for this. <laughs> Now I can get my radio station up and running. Though, I still have a long way to go. Mostly because I'm not even sure how to install this thing. Eh, it's not the first time I've reached the end of the road and don't know where to go. I guess it's part of being a traveler anyway. Mm-hmm. Ulysses said something like that to me once before he left. Sometimes the destination is just the start of another journey. Why don't you just marry him, DJ? I guess you'd know that more than anybody. Anyway. Feel free to stay in the Crimson Factory for as long as you like. Not sure why you'd want to, though. But despite the robots and the weirdos, it's still an interesting place. No telling what treasures are just waiting to be discovered in this valley. Yeah. The Crimson Factory. Oh, we got a little note or something? Is your radio announcer? Have you heard of Three Dog? As a matter of fact, I do. I was a disciple of Three Dog back when I lived in the Capital Wasteland, one of a class of seven other DJs. You see, after the Enclave Bunker near DC was destroyed by the Brotherhood, he decided he wanted to spread his wisdom to other aspiring radio announcers. Didn't teach us much, just, you know, how to grab listeners' attention, how to keep the audience entertained, what it means to fight the good fight. Stuff yeah, like that. Usual stuff, yeah, I hear you. I don't know what happened to the other six DJs. They could be anywhere in the world. I just chose to let the wind take me to the west. Yeah, it's an odd thing to say to me. It's okay to not know where you're going, as long as you know where you've been. He said that to me once. But I've held on to those words in my travels. That's the power of a good DJ. 
His or her words can stick to you for years to come. I'd like to be that good one day. I hope maybe even you'll remember me someday after you've left the Crimson Factory for good. DJ, I'll always remember you. Don't be a stranger. Strangers are weird. Well, until you turn them into friends. Ooh, I leveled up, but I can level up on my own accord. All right, I'm gonna read your live journal. Dear Journal, I finally decided where I want to settle down and start up my new radio station. This valley seems just right. Flat land leads to a good signal, lots of scrap laying around, and little competition. The only problem are the murderous robots, but I haven't had too many issues with them so far. I'm just glad to not run out of town immediately. I tried setting up in Freeside and Securetrons. Oh, uh, this was, uh... Okay, yeah. Um, what's his name? Had that disaster had that. Uh, living alone is taking its toll on me. I used to be surrounded by angry homeless people and Securitrons. I never thought I'd actually miss them. The robots usually don't give me much trouble, mostly because I never go outside. But as I sit in this cold, concrete room, I realize that maybe I should have just stayed in Vegas, or New Reno, or even the Rivet City. Living alone kind of sucks. I think as soon as I get this ham radio up and running, I can start talking to people. Anybody who will listen, at least. But for now, I'll just have to deal with it. Dear Journal, something strange happened today. A man just showed up at my door. I didn't recognize him, but he didn't seem armed, so I let him in. I told him I didn't have any food. That was a lie, but he said that he just needed to rest. That seemed fine with me. I had just dragged in that new couch from the destroyed house down the path. I let him try it out. Turns out, he's an interesting guy. A strange guy, but he's cool. Calls himself Ulysses. He likes to ask a lot of questions. Stuff like, do you know who Abraham Lincoln is, and have you ever heard of a place called Vietnam? I'm a bit of an old world enthusiast myself, so I was able to hold a pretty long conversation with him. Turns out, he's going to be living here for a while. I gave him the unused roof upstairs, and as much food as he'd need. There's plenty to go around after all, though I am a bit nervous about him still. He has this darkness to his eyes, this desire for revenge. He's looking for someone. I just don't know who, but I guess it's better not to ask. It's nice to have someone living here in this old station. I would have preferred a girl, but this is fine for now, provided he doesn't get too weird to try and kill me in my sleep. We'll get along just fine. Oh, DJ. Are you trying to sit down? There we go. I don't know what you're trying to do, but I'll help you out. Alright, we got this dickhead as thing. Time to go to Fort Ali Oxen. Ollie, Ollie, Oxen Free! Ollie, Ollie, Oxen Free! I wonder if he's a lady! Ollie, Ollie, Oxen Free! Oh! We're supposed to be going west, you doofus! <gasps> Ooh, a plane! Bark, bark, bark! Bark, bark, bark! Hello, Mr. Plane. Hello, loudest gun in existence. Oh. Ford Ollie Oxen. I wonder if Ollie Oxen's in here. Oh. I don't appreciate you shooting at me. I have trouble. <laughs> First person I can't see because the gun's too big, and third person I can't see because I'm in the way. <laughs> Just had to have that over, straight behind you, overhaul. Didn't you? Poor Dolly Oxen Medical. If I were Ollie Oxen, where would I be? Probably be making videos. Hey, little babes. Grabbing them out of assholes. No, 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 no. Great, now we got backup. We don't need backup. Well, thank you for letting us know someone was hiding in the bathroom. 
He was taking a shit. <laughs> taking a shit. Taking a shit. Please stand clear. Please shut your mouth. Citizens are advised to clear the area. I just want to check all these. My wolf wolf gun. Holy crap. Damn. Yeah, I got a gun too, man. I don't think I'm hitting you. Bang, 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 bang. I like how they curl up. Beep. Oh man, I want to make some drugs. Alright, these are probably not going to have anything. Storage might have some stuff. Commencing Taking out the trash, don't mind us. We gotta take you out. We got a plane landing here. So you gotta move, alright? You guys gotta move. I'm not even, you know what? You tell the others what happened here. Maybe Mr. Air Force Base has something big. Or Mr. Hangar. Skipping, skipping my way to victory. Uh, uh, I do push-ups and jumps at the same time. I'm crazy. All right, can't get up there. That's nothing. Should have helped your friends when you had the chance. Now you're done for. Here, come over here. Step on that for me. <laughs> you got your brains and your tummies. Straighten your tummies. Clear and contain. Oh, not that one. I mean, I mean, uh, oh, oh, I gotta run. Is this where Ali Oxen resides? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing it's just named after him. Here, catch. You too. Catch. Watch out. 
<laughs> oh, this is gonna be so loud. Not many men will do it. Mission accomplished. Accomplished hard. Taking your noodles. Huh? An old world nightmare. Oh, post my credits. We gotta read that. This is Paladin Deimos reporting on the secret mission to investigate the Crimson Factory. I have stumbled across working machines from the pre-war military installation known as Cyberstar. We have records of its existence, but these are the first versions we found to be fully operational. Apparently, they were used as a completely autonomous military force, unleashed on the Chinese during the Resource War. The term unleashed is especially noted, considering that these military drones are programmed to kill any moving creature which includes animals and civilians. In fact, they had to be deactivated before being moved to a military base because they'd shoot the troops too. Though it is clear that something activated them here at Fort Oliox, and judging by the skeletons everywhere, it didn't go so well. Now these machines are free to roam the Crimson Factory. As soon as I can sneak out of here, I'll be sure to alert Elder McNamara to this danger. This is Paladin Deimos. Um, let's try it out. Uh, these are post-mod credits for the mob, the Crimson Factory. I want to thank everybody for playing... This mod has taken the longest to make out of my six quest mods, and with the most outside help, I hope you enjoyed it. I did! This mod was designed, written, scripted, and edited by American Weirdo. Vocal talent, DJ, American Weirdo, D uh, Dwight, Cellblock Psycho, Caleb, Michael P., my brother, Dr. Disaster, American Weirdo, Rebel Rat, Michael Mayer, Lenny Loves a Lot, Al Chessbridge, Gopher, Nate Dog, Mocha, Sarah C., my friend. Thanks to all who provided voices, and also thanks to everybody who supported uh, over the past few mods. I appreciate you guys encouraging me to keep modding even when so many modders have left Fallout New Vegas to work on Fallout 4. As for me, I've got at least one more idea for a New Vegas mod, and I'll be happy to make it as long as people are interested. Stay tuned. Oh, you bet your sweet ass I'm interested. Yogi the Bear's over here. Hey, man. As long as people keep making quest mods for Fallout New Vegas, I'll keep playing it, and then when people stop making quest mods, then I'll then I'll play companion mods with short quests, and then when those die, then I'll play house mods, and then when house mods, wait, no, we'll do new worlds, yeah, new lands, and then house mods is the last bastion. The last bastion. Ow. Sometimes when I jump, my gun stops working, it's just something wrong with me. Alright, so we got... Got this little, little package. Oh, we still have to give, um, still have to give, uh, that, uh, guy all his spy things back. The rebel rat. The rebeler. You're about to get woofed. Woof woof, mother trucker. <laughs> Take a my Ooh, cinch component. Oh, he was a synth. You shitty synths. Since you're dead, the synthes are no longer here. Damn hobo. You heard it here first, everyone. Gophers, one, a hobo, and two, a synth. And three, drinking all my water. Alright. Let's uh, give back those spy machines. Alright, we're back here at Rat Boys. I'm gonna take his baseball. Hey, Rat Boy! Hope you don't mind the smell. I just sprayed some anti-nanobot mist in here. You'll thank me later. I can thank you now. Um, I have a relay right here. Good. Very good. I'll just take that and see what secrets the enemy's hiding from us. Here's your caps. Spy relay. See you later, Rebel. Remember? World War IV. I got you. I know. Alright, I was live. I had a whole bunch of them. What an idiot. What a goofy, goofy baby. I'm trying to see if we can drop 
Hey, we can drop it. Probably shouldn't have. All right, I just had to make sure there were, you know. Hope you don't mind. There. Good. I wonder if there's like a limit to how many. Good. 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 All right, I don't have any more. Remember? World War Four. It's happening now. Just like that thing coming through your window. Oh my god, what is that thing? It's got two eyes and it's... Oh wait, it's just a child. Well, you probably should be concerned about a child climbing through your window. Alright, eight relays. Wow, I found eight of them while you guys were fearing for your lives. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I'm guessing there's no, like, final end to this. You just get caps. It's a good old fetch quest. Either that or since I spawned and I messed it up. Cooley McDooley's. Alright, everyone, I do believe that does it for, um, good old fashioned The Crimson Factory by American Weirdo. This is a fantastic mod. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoy when people do new worlds, and this one just tops. It, it takes the cake. It tops the cake. It says, hey, cake, you're mine. And, um, I know there is some... Oh wait, no, that's where we enter. So there is nothing south. It's just it's just the map being the map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. But yeah, um, American Weirdo, if I missed anything, let me know and I'll check it out. Um, but if not, this has been, ooh, ah, yeah, the Crimson Factory. Hope you all enjoyed. I know I did. And guess what? I'm going to see y'all in the magical future. Away!